Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, welcoming you back to another chapter of Let's Play the Bard's Tale, Remastered and Resnarked. The last time you'll remember, we made our way to the village of Kirkwall, where we encountered the man named Bob we were searching for. And he led us to another Bob. Who led us to another Bob? Now we've got four of these guys following us around, with our dog blocking off the one who's meant to be leading us to the one who can teach us a bit of magic. And this is one of the parts of the game where being snarky is going to hurt you. Because if you're nice to Bob or any of the Bobs, they will immediately take you to the right one. The snarkier you are, the longer this chain of events goes on. But this played out to benefit us because I wound up remembering there is something that we need to do before we go talk to the Bobs. And I don't think it'll let me do this yet, but there is... Ooh, barrels! Yeah, no opening there, but there is one place we want to go first, and it's not the store. That shopkeeper keep me. Or the tavern, but there's a storehouse somewhere in the middle of town. I got a location there, showing where we're supposed to go. There's a storehouse where we can pick up an item. I don't know. But this item gives us a bonus to XP whenever we gain XP. And yeah, we can't see anything in this one, so that's not the one. But uh, if we get this item before we go into the business with the bobs, it will give us a considerable bonus on XP, and we need every advantage we can get. This one we can just make our way through. Here we go, the Fallstone. Let me check if we go through our inventory of tokens. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. This charm was enchanted by the Trau Fnaf to aid him with his poor musicianship. Well, its new owner isn't much of a step up from a trial. Hey. A chip from the Lear Fail, or Stone of Destiny, which is reputed to foretell the coming of a king by roaring when he sets foot upon it. It, of course, made no noise upon coming into the possession of the bard. So, yes. 10% experience from every point. So, we want this for completing this quest. Well, completing all of our quests, but this one in particular. And as long as we're going through inventory, we have not actually looked at our tune list in a while. The heroine was deadly accurate with a crossbow and quite nimble in battle. The equal of most any man in combat. Worth about ten men of the bard's type. Although fragile, the Thunder Spider could destroy most foes with a steady stream of lightning long before they were able to retaliate. A study in contrasts. Although a seemingly vile old witch, she was an expert in providing aid to those wounded in battle. 
a common rat. I am referring, of course, to the animal and not the bard. Yeah, I'm an uncommon rat, thank you. Alright, so now that we've smashed all the barrels, we can get on with the quest. Can't we? Yes, yes, we can. La 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 And this has just taught me the light fairy tune. Once you're inside, work yourself through the maze until you find four barrels. Behind those barrels is a passage that will lead you atop the bluff. There you'll meet a very good friend of ours who'll show you the way. Why do I have the feeling that this little runaround is far from over? Believe us, my friend. There is a method to our madness. I'm sure there is, but no reason to take me down with you. Yeah, I want you. Show me the way. Poor Connor. He should count himself lucky she isn't... No idea who Connor is. Don't much care for the moment. But I did have another quest to pick up here, but... Oh, wait, wait. This was storeroom, wasn't it? thought this was the shop. But long as we're here... Let's try out that Light Fairy enchantment. Let there be light! Oh, we have another new tune, Bodyguard. Take that. Ooh, that looked painful. All right, well, that seems to be everything. Look who it is, Sean. It's the Bard. The Bard? I don't know any... Oh, the Bard! Do I know you two? Do you know us? You don't remember Finstown? Finstown, you say? Nah. Can't say I've ever been there. Never been there? Why, you... You're the hero of Finstown, Bard. I am? He is. Certainly. You remember Finstown, right? Why, there's a big reward just waiting for you. Oh, you mean Finstown. Of course, of course. Sorry, I get that hero bit a lot, you know. You do? Please pardon my brother. He often lacks manners. Just head over to Finstown, and they're bound to give you your reward. The good people have been dying to see you again. Of course. I'll head over there when I'm able. Very good. We'll notify them that you're on your way. Let's be on our way, brother.
That was not suspicious at all. But we now have a new world area unlocked. Finstown. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain how that is important and significant later. Because we won't need to deal with it until much, much later. Alright, so let's go check out the local businesses before we head into the dungeon. I mean, storeroom. My Actually, shopkeeper. We'll do the bar first, on the odd chance there's some booze that might boost our charisma. The fat loot. I could use some fat loot right now. Ah, another victory for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Plus, I have to speak with the priest. Welcome to Carquel. Care to buy me a drink? I mean, make a donut. I could use a bit of goodwill. Press F to speak with Connor. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone to wallow in sorrow. Sorry, I didn't know this was the ladies' room. I think that might be my beloved. Alright. So what will it be? Let's see. Bob's Black Ale increases Riven by 2. Stromness Stunt Increases Strength by 2. Findley's Brew. And Bugbear's Light Brew. Uh, what the heck? Let's go big. How about one of these? Bugbear's Brew. We just got it today. It comes from Houghton. The brew is a randy old bugger. Used to work here, but I had to get rid of him. He kept peeling up the barmaids behind me back. Shocking, shocking. Nice. Disgraceful behavior. Ah, refreshing. So what will it be? What about this one? Ah, this is one hell of a stout. A strong, rich, multi flavor with a hint. I'll have one of those then. I think we do get an achievement ah, for sampling every that. beer in the game. Which is part of the other reason why I'm doing this. So what will it be? What about this one? Ah, the ale. An effervescent start with oaky overtones and a crisp finish with a peppery aftertaste goes down smooth and burns like hell on the way back up. Nice. That hits the spot. And finally... So what will it be? What about this one? Is it a beer? A whiskey? A wine? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. But I can tell you that if you're feeling a bit of luck, you can't go wrong with this one. I'll have one of those, then. All right. Let's see what we get for the lucky ah, drink. Refreshing. <laughs> well, that one put my rhythm up by one, but it knocked down my luck, my dexterity, and my strength. For as long as we're in here. The bodyguard was sworn to defend his charges from any and all manner of ranged attack. Perhaps someone should have gotten him a larger shield. Now, let's see, Light Fairy. 
the light fairy, a curious creature attracted by music, always happy to light the way when darkness closes in. I just had an idea. Remember our scam from earlier? from me in the tavern. Hey! That meant just made back most of the gold I spent on booze. And the XP was pretty darn nice as well. <laughs> that shopkeeper The Velvet Hammer, discriminating weapons and armor. I'm sorry. You've obviously wandered into what you believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. And look, he has a harp with a summoning limit of two. Can you tell me about this? This instrument is very used, a little dinged up and really not very good to look at. You may actually be able to afford it. We don't normally carry items like this, so I'll be happy to get rid of it. And hopefully you as well. I'll buy it. Excellent. It looks much better on you than it does in my shop. Now get out. What have you got in the way of bows? Bows? You couldn't even afford the string. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. This looks interesting. Very nice, very accurate, very powerful, and most likely very unobtainable for a man in your position. It costs nothing to dream, however, but it will cost you some silver to actually purchase. Uh-huh. I'll take it. It must have been very difficult to give up your life savings, but if this saves your life, I suppose it's worth it. On the other hand, I may be overvaluing your life. That is a very nice bow. Let's have a look at your armor, then. You want armor? You do realize that we don't sell on credit here? Hmm, I'm intrigued. This chainmail is the best armor money can buy. And more than your money can buy, I'm afraid. More than you need, anyway. Unless, of course, you're on some sort of quest to save the world. <laughs> oh, dear, yes. But seriously, this would cost you a lot more than you have. I'd be quite shocked if you could even count that high. Let me see something else. Not interested. Let's talk about close quarters combat. We sell only the finest melee weapons here. Much too expensive for you. And yeah, it's the same stuff I can buy in Houghton. Probably because I haven't upgraded those yet. What else you got? See you, old man. There's a shop in Houghton that you might be able to afford. <laughs> yeah. Just for that, I'm smashing your barrels. Okay, you don't have any barrels? Wait, is that one a barrel? It is not a barrel. Eh, darn it. Well, if you had barrels, I would totally smash them. But that was still worth the annoyance, because now I can summon two creatures at the same time. So now, I believe we're ready to take on... Poor Connor. He should count himself...
Someone need a light? After stumbling around in the dark, and with the help of his newfound companion, our hero found the secret passage to the top of the bluff. Well, that was anticlimactic. There's, in fact, a save point here. Speak with Bob Depp or Bob Depp. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is. I must say, your future will become very bleak if you say Bove right now. As you wish. Far be it from me to shorten my own future. Just tell me, are you the one I seek? And I emphasize the word the. I am he whom you seek. For safety's sake, you may call me... Well, whatever you'd like, actually. Then I'll call you Homely, for that's an apt description. As you wish. I'll even dance if it keeps that sword out of my belly. I've seen enough song and dance for one day. So, Homely, why have I been summoned to this armpit of a town? You've not been summoned, my friend. You have been chosen. Oh, hell. Quite an honor, I might add. For only the strongest and most courageous in all the land would have been chosen by the beautiful Princess Calais. If you tell me that I've been chosen again, I'll run you through. Now, without using the C word, explain what the hell you're on about. Um, uh, uh yes, well, uh, uh, as I was saying, you were asked to come here by the fair Princess Calais. The good Lord bless her. Ah, oh, why does this always happen to me? Oh, go ahead and spit it out, for God's sake. Our fair princess is being held captive atop an ancient tower. Dark forces keep her locked away in a mystical prison. Only she... Yeah, yeah, and only she can defeat the evil. Please, oh please, could you risk your neck to save her? Blah, blah, etc, etc, etc. I've heard it all before. Is that all you've got? Aye. That is... Well, you pretty much covered it. Yeah, I think you've wasted enough of both of our time. Why don't you go and recruit some idealistic young orphan to do it? They're pretty gullible. Wait! Did I mention that she's as rich as she is beautiful? Rich? How rich are we talking? The barest portion of her wealth could buy Dunby a hundred times over. Not bad. And, uh, you said she's beautiful as well. The fairest in all the land. Prove it. Um, uh, uh, prove it? Yeah, prove it. If she's rich, then hand over some coin on her behalf. And if she's so bloody beautiful, then show her to me. If you can do neither of these things, then I'll be on my way. Wait! I can show you the princess. Give you a chance to see her. As for payment, is this sufficient? It's a start. For now. I warn you, though, if you're playing me false, 
I'll take it out of your hide. Uh, 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 no need for that. Follow me. The princess will convince you. I'm sure of it. With visions of coin, cleavage, and carnage jiggling in his head, the bard and his newfound friend head off to be in the presence of the mysterious Princess Calais. Here we are, my friend. I see no tower here. I thought you were taking me to see this princess. Aye, and you shall speak with her. Uh, just... Uh... Not in the flesh. But eventually I do see flesh, right? In due time, my impatient friend. In due time. You remember my brothers? Yes, but I'm so bad with names. Both! Now I remember. Can we get on with this? If I don't see this princess soon, believe me, boves will roll. As you wish. As I mentioned to you before, Princess Calais is in an impenetrable tower. I don't remember you mentioning the word impenetrable. I didn't? Well... That's because it's only impenetrable to the likes of us. A strapping fella such as yourself should have no problem. Nice try. Go on. The only way we can communicate with our beloved princess is by summoning an image of her. We have this ritual Enough that... words. Let's see some action, some action. Very well. Are we ready, my friends? If this were a stage, I'd boo you off. Now, Bow. The bell! Bow? Now, or we'll lose her! Ring it! Now! Was that her? <laughs> she looked familiar. Where's the bell? Was that Princess Calico? Calais. Both the bell. I don't exactly have it. <laughs> She's the one who appears when I use this pendant. Who does exactly have it? Farmer Finn. So she's the princess. And she's rich, you say? Ugh. Gambling again? I'm sorry. I'm weak when it comes to temptation. Join the club. Who needs a stinking bell? Can't I just go and rescue her? I could leave right now. Do you have a fast horse? I'm afraid a rescue is impossible without information which only the princess can provide. Well, I can summon her right now. She comes when I use this pendant. Hey, let me see that. Hmm. It is as I thought. Where did you get this? From the guy that sent me to you. This pendant contains a portion of her magical essence. A little bit of her spirit, if you will. It'll invoke her power, but does not allow for communication. All right. So point me in the direction of this farmer. If I can't buy it back, I can find a way to con it out of him. I obviously can't trust Bov to go get it. But you must hurry. Time is an issue. Get that bell and bring it back here as soon as you can. Then I can go get the princess, right? No more run around? Aye. And she'll repay you many times over. And in many ways, I hope. I'll be back before you know it. Our smitten bard was on his way to see the farmer, with luck at his side and images in his head of the princess doing things I dare not mention. And hey, 275 XP! Yeah, 
camera got messed around a bit, but... Well... So now we have a new quest. And a good place to save. But yes. Next time, we shall con we shall continue on to Farmer Finn's to get the bell, get the quest, get the princess, and get her money. Maybe not necessarily in that order. But thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you all next time. Take care until then.